Hello everyone and welcome to Storytime. The book we have today has just one word for its title. Owen. What do you think is Owen? The mouse with the binoculars? Or the mouse with a blanket? Well, let's read this and find out. Owen by Kevin Hanks. Owen had a fuzzy yellow blanket. He'd had it since he was a baby. He loved it with all his heart. Fuzzy goes where I go, said Owen. And Fuzzy did. Upstairs, downstairs, in between, inside, outside, upside, down. Fuzzy likes what I like, said Owen. And Fuzzy did. Orange juice, grape juice, chocolate milk, ice cream, peanut butter, apple sauce, cake. Oh, Fuzzy likes a lot of stuff. Isn't he a little old to be carrying that thing around? Said Mrs. Tweezers. Haven't you heard of the blanket fairy? Oh, his parents hadn't. Mrs. Tweezers filled them in. That night, Owen's parents told Owen to put his fuzzy blanket under his pillow. In the morning, Fuzzy will be gone, but the blanket fairy would leave an absolutely wonderful, positively perfect, especially terrific, big boy gift in its place. Oh, that sounds exciting. Owen stuffed Fuzzy inside his pajama pants and went to sleep. Yes, he didn't want the absolutely wonderful, positively perfect, especially terrific big boy gift. <sighs> Blanket fairy, said Owen in the morning. No kidding, said his mother. No wonder, said his father. Look how wet the blanket is stuffed in his pajama. Fuzzy's dirty, said Owen's mother. Fuzzy is torn and ratty, said Owen's father. No, said Owen. Fuzzy is perfect. And Fuzzy was. Fuzzy played Captain Plunger with Owen. Fuzzy helped Owen become invisible. That means no one can see him. And Fuzzy was essential when it came to nail clipping, haircuts, and visits to the dentist. We can't be a baby forever, said Mrs. Tweezers. Haven't you heard of the vinegar trick? Owen's parents hadn't. Mrs. Tweezers filled them in. When Owen wasn't looking, Owen's father dipped Owen's favorite corner of the blanket into a vinegar jar. Owen sniffed it and smelled it and sniffed it. He picked a new favorite corner. <laughs> then he rubbed the smelly con of the blanket around the sandbox and buried it in the garden and dug it up again. <gasps> Good as new, said Owen. Fuzzy wasn't as fuzzy anymore, but Owen didn't mind. He carried it and wore it and dragged it. He sucked it. Hugged it and twisted it. What are we going to do? said Owen's mother. School is starting soon, said Owen's father. Can't bring a blanket to school, said Mrs. Tweezers. Haven't you heard of saying no? Owen's parents hadn't. Mrs. Tweezers filled them in. I have to bring blanket to school said Owen. No, said Owen's mother. No, said Owen's father. 
Oh, and buried his face in Fuzzy. He started to cry and wouldn't stop. Don't worry, said Owen's mother. It'll be all right, said Owen's father. And then suddenly, Owen's mother said, I have an idea. It was an absolutely wonderful, positively perfect, especially terrific idea. And first she snipped and then she sold. Then she snipped some more and sold again. Then she snipped again and sold some more. What do you think she's doing? Is she making a coat? Is she making a book bag? Is she making a teddy bear? It has to be something that Owen can take to school, right? Let's find out. Snip, snip, so, so. Dry your eyes. Wipe your nose. Hooray, hooray, hooray! What does she make? A handkerchief. Now, Owen carries one of his not-so-fuzzy handkerchiefs wherever he goes. That was a terrific idea. And Mrs. Tweezers doesn't say a thing. <laughs> the end. It really was an absolutely wonderful, positively perfect, especially terrific story. What was the problem in this story? Till next time, I hope you enjoyed the story. Bye.